right, boys, time to do our first fill up because we are empty. Got us a little monsty. Let's see what this beast is up to. Eight, 17 gallons 20 gallons 80 bucks not bad what's gonna guys so we've officially had this truck for two days and honestly it still feels like it isn't real but here we are our very first lbz video so we've got a couple maintenance items a couple modifications and we got to do that first deep cleaning on the interior and exterior i just personally feel like until i get my hands on the truck it just doesn't feel like it's mine but i am so excited to get this build started man it's just a glorious platform a dream truck and i'm honestly just super motivated which for someone that does content creation all the time to find something that gives you a ton of motivation is always a good thing and this truck has got me hyped dude i am so freaking excited i'm gonna film literally everything from the smallest mod to the biggest and everything in between i feel like a lot of people jump from stock to fully modified on these things i just enjoyed the process in between so we're going to document everything and so today we got some goodies for so i typically do oil changes immediately after buying something but the oil level is perfect it looks good and the dash says it's 95 percent so we're going to leave it alone for a little bit but we are going to do a fuel filter because the dash says zero percent so either it hasn't been changed in a while or they just forgot to reset it either way we're going to guarantee that we got a fresh one in there got a gm genuine got it from amazon you can save yourself about 20 bucks i'll have a link to it in the description gotta take our fender liner out which yours should just be push pins but Previous owner at some point put some self tappers in here. We'll be putting it back with push pins, but the filter's right there. So let's go ahead and pop this out, and get access to it. Make sure anytime you take these out, go ahead and clean back here. This is where you're gonna find a bunch of buildup and stuff. And if you don't clean it, that could turn into rust eventually. Now we gotta swap this guy over, grab you some channel locks. The yeah, O-ring is actually coming off with it, but we have a new O-ring to go on here and the top. All right, take our new O-rings. We're just going to put a little oil on them. Just slide this guy right down there. Screw this back on. We'll tighten it down with the channel locks. like that we're ready to throw it back in there after we tighten this down all right now we gotta bleed the system you need to take this little black screw out right here you can use a flathead mine's a little strip so it's a half inch pump this oh there we went all right, all right. <laughs> that should be good to go. I had to fill it slap up because I didn't prime the filter at all. Just put it back on there dry. I'll just power up the truck. Filter life zero, gotcha. We're just gonna hold this guy. Should reset it. Booyah. Obviously does have a Banks Ram Air. We're gonna go ahead and check it. Make sure it's not uh, super, super dirty or anything. Just wanna find out what she's all about. I mean, that is like solid, 
So this is probably why the truck feels lazy. It literally can't breathe. So I had this for Larry. I got to clean his k and filter. We're just going to go ahead and clean it with this. And I know it's not bang, k and blah, 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 whatever. It's going to be fine. That thing was absolutely filthy, looking about a million times better now. Probably gonna take all night for this thing to dry, but use truck buying tip of the day. As soon as you get it, clean the freaking air filter. Next up, we're gonna be swapping out these crusty taillights. And thankfully, I kept the other aftermarket taillights from Chomper. They should fit on here and look really good. As always, use this time to clean all this crap that builds up in here out really good. All of these guys just plug in. These are definitely not the permanent tail lights for the truck, but that's a lot better than those crusty stock ones. I definitely plan on color matching a lot of this truck, bow tie included, but we got to do something with this crusty thing. It looks absolutely terrible. It's all faded and it's just bad. So we're going to go ahead and at least paint this thing black today. And that's two 10 mil little lock washers holding this thing on from the back. Boom. Y'all see it yet? Yes, the truck looks very angry with the tow mirrors in, but that's not it. The freaking sunroof is popped, baby. Let's go. I had a feeling it was like my other truck that had someone seal the roof because, you know, they inevitably leak or whatever the case. And uh, whenever the back is free, the silicone back here, it'll pop, but it won't pull itself off the front. And that's exactly what this did. So I took a little... Um, plastic window tent tool and just stuck it in here ran it across broke that seal and dude she slides back like a dream yes it does have some cracks in the the rails which is very very common but it's very sturdy probably won't cruise with it going down the interstate open or anything because then it could cause these cracks to get worse but as far as like you know back roads and taking pictures and stuff we shouldn't have any issues out of this. Got to get a new seal for the glass, which I think that's why they probably sealed it because it was leaking. And uh, some people just don't care about the sunroofs after they get them. They just say, screw it. I'll seal it and not have to worry about it. And I don't know if it was the guy I got it from or the guy before him. But either way, it was sealed and that's what was holding it. All right, let's see if it closed good. Pretty good. A little high spot here. Probably just because I haven't cleaned all this crap out yet. But let's go ahead and pop it back. It's the little things like the sunroof design that makes this generation feel so special. The way that it pops up and goes back over the roof rather than going into the roof like most newer trucks do. It just looks so much better. It's so aggressive. And man, even compared to same gen, like Chomper that doesn't have a sunroof. It, there's just something special with one of these that has a sunroof. I don't know what it is, but it just does something to me. I'm actually hoping this has been on for a really long time and it's not hiding something underneath. So that is gross. Well, it's not a hole in the tailgate at least. Let's try to clean that up and polish it out where it's not noticeable. <laughs> yeah, it's been on there for a couple of years for sure. Thankfully, the decal came off and there was not anything crazy hiding behind it. Just a tiny little bit of ghosting behind it. Can't really do anything about that. Been on there for years. We got to tackle the interior in just a second, but got the air filter dried overnight. Got it back in there. Truck should be running so much better now that it can actually breathe. It's time for the deep cleaning because this thing 
is in desperate need. And I took our bezel off. And if you know anything about this generation of truck, they named all the trucks. I have it on the bezel. And here it is. 10, 16, 06. Heather. Just in all the cracks, it's grimy, it's gross. I'm gonna go try to find a brush, a little paintbrush or something. I don't have a detail brush, but something to get in here. have to settle for a quick pressure wash today because this pollen is out of control and I want to wash and wax and everything and it would literally get pollen on it as I do it and it's just uh, not good but I did get the interior pretty freaking clean dude this door it still needs some help it's got a lot of like real strong dirt pushed into it but dude the dash cleaned up so good definitely gonna be replacing the steering wheel so I didn't spend too much time on it but I did get a lot of the grime off Dude, it just cleaned up so good, so much better. It still needs about 10 hours worth of detailing to get like really, really good, but it cleaned up really nice for a relatively quick detail. So I am stoked on that. Uh, I'm gonna give it a quick wash. We'll catch up for the end of the video. And I'll see y'all there. All right, guys, well, that's going to be about it for this first video with the LBZ. I'm so excited, man. I just The little things we did in this video have made a big difference, especially getting that sunroof popped. Oh, my gosh. But getting the fuel filter knocked out, getting that air filter clean, dude, knowing the truck is running good, which it feels really good now. It's not like crazy fast or anything, but I, I think it did actually improve the drivability of the truck and makes it feel where it's supposed to be at a stock level truck, right? So stoked on that. I honestly was going to take the rain guards off but i'm, I'm kind of torn y'all y'all let me know should we keep them on there or should we take them off i'm gonna take them off either way but should we replace them uh because i actually i don't know at first i'm like i don't like those because chomper doesn't have them it looks super clean without them but then i, I don't know i kind of they've kind of grown on me a little bit so i don't know y'all let me know i guess we could just take them off anyways and see but I'm going to leave them on there for now. Stoked that we got this little badge thing off and it looks good underneath and it's not some big huge hole in the paint or something. That was a little worrisome. I got my new tag today, which y'all are going to laugh off to show you in a minute. But um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, interior is freaking clean, which is a huge, huge improvement over what it was. <laughs> it was so freaking dirty. And it looks a million times better. I mean, just literally a million times better. We gotta decide if we wanna do, are we gonna do a black roof or dingy? That's definitely why they sealed the center if it was definitely leaking. Um, are we gonna do a black um, headliner? I think we should, everything else is in black in here. Do a suede headliner, maybe do stars in it. I don't, I don't know, should we do stars in it? I don't know, if we do black, we're gonna have to paint all of this crap, which is gonna be super annoying. Uh, what else do we do? Oh, she's she's happy with a full tank of fuel. Uh, trying to think, because I did half of it yesterday, or most of it yesterday, and then I ran out of time. Bow tie's probably done, but I didn't have time to put it on before I just had to go um, meet the family for some lunch. So I'll probably be able to throw that on this afternoon for the next video. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see how that bow tie dried and everything. But, dude... I, it call me crazy these wheels have kind of grown on me i know they're missing center caps the wheels have kind of grown on me they're a lot better than the stocks i know that they kind of grown on me i don't know i gotta clean the engine bay really good i want to do that today 
but I didn't have time, so had to get the interior knocked out though, which which we did, and it looks freaking so much better. Oh my gosh, stoked on that. This truck just, I love it, dude. So at the boat launch, I'm the main peasant with no boat, and you got the guys over there that got boats, and you got the guy out there that's got a freaking plane. <laughs> Truly is levels to life, man. I knew I was missing something, but I couldn't put my finger on it, and it's the taillights. I totally forgot. We changed the taillights, which they look pretty good. They're not my favorite. I didn't necessarily love them on my other red truck, so, you know, they look pretty good on Chomper. Just the red on that red kind of clashes. It's all right. It's it's all right, but definitely going to be swapping those out, and they're definitely better than those crusty stock ones. But, yeah, I just remembered, so I figured I'd throw this in at the end. Oh, 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 oh.